Hello and welcome to the video today. I don't know, I want to do something different for the start. Today I want to talk about Audible uh, audiobook files because I prefer to use my own server. I actually use Plex and I have a, an audiobook library in Plex and then I use, um, well, depending on if I'm on Android, I'll use the, is it Chronicle? I think it's called Chronicle app. And then on uh, iOS, I'll use an app called Prologue that allows you to have basically all of your audiobooks uh, served out just like the Audible app, but regardless of where you get it, because like my wife works at a local bookstore. And so I use Libro FM it supports the local bookstore. I also have an Audible account. Anyway, uh, the problem with Audible books is that they are DRM encrypted. So you can only play them on the Audible device, right? But you can decrypt them as long as you already bought them and re-encode them or actually you don't even have to re-encode them just once they're decrypted they're in um, mp4 or m4b or m4a format and then uh, you can play them on whatever app you want like my plex solution anyway i want to show you how to do that with audible specifically because like if you go to libro.fm and you support like your local bookstore or i'll put a link to the uh, bookstore my wife works at um, they are just MP3 files. And so they're not encrypted at all. And you can listen to them however you want, but with audible, they are uh, encrypted using digital rights management. So anyway, I'll show you how to do that. You have to buy them because this isn't pirating stuff. You have to get your own key in order to, um, extract them. It's just a convenience thing. So you can listen to them on whatever device you want. Anyway, let's uh, check out how to do that. Now there are two steps that you actually have to do. The first step you only need to do one time, but it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. And that is to get your own encryption key or the activation key for your Audible account. And it's going to be the same key on all of your Audible files. So you, again, you only have to get it once, but you have to make sure that you get it from one of your files because that's how they're going to be encrypted with DRM. So you need to get that key. So the first thing you want to do, and I'll put the links in the description to, uh, to do all this, uh, but you need to get one of your files. So like here I'm logged into, uh, my audible account and here are like some books that I've recently purchased and like you would download one of them using this download link in your library. Uh, I almost always do the full one because I like to have all of my audiobooks in a single file. So I would do full. I would click download, it would download that, and it's actually going to be downloading, but I don't want to wait for that. I already have a book downloaded in my temp folder, and it is piecing me together as a book that I that I bought just the other day. And we're going to use that to get our activation uh, code, but there's a bunch of different ways to do it. And one of the frustrations that I have is all of this that I'm going to show you is open source. However, there are some companies that have taken the open source tools and wrap them into a commercial program. So if you think that you need to buy an application to remove the DRM from your audible files, you do not. And those commercial code or those commercial programs that they're going to charge you for almost certainly use the open source stuff that I'm going to show you how to do for free right now just a pet peeve of mine. You don't have to pay for any of this, except for the audible books. You still have to pay for those just to be clear. Anyway, there's a program called inaudible and we're just going to clone part of their repo. So I'm going to, uh, get a clone of this repository. And this has uh, the stuff in there that will like use your file to extract the key that then you'll need to uh, decrypt it. So, uh, I have now it's the tables folder. So I'm going to move this, this, uh, book into that folder. All right. And I'm going to go into the folder and you'll see there are a whole bunch of files in here. There's like rainbow table stuff is what's in here, but we need to do two steps. Now I should add that in order to do this, you have to install FFmpeg on your computer it has to be a fairly recent version of FFmpeg. And that should come with the FF probe program. Okay. So we're going to say FF probe and then that file and then what i want to do now this is just a weird thing about ff probe and probably ffmpeg it dumps all of its output into standard error or at least the vast majority of it and i want to grep stuff out so what i'm going to do is say this and then two into ampersand one and that's just going to put standard error right alongside standard output so then i can grep for checksum because it's going to spew out a whole bunch of stuff. But all I want from this is the checksum. Okay. And there it is. This is the 
check some that I need. So I'm going to copy this. And now in this tables folder, there is a program. So dot forward slash R crack, and then dot for the current folder. And then dash H to tell it the checksum of the file. So I'm going to paste that that we just got there and then press enter. And it's going to give us uh, the results of it cracking the file. And those results are this, which should be blurred out in the final video. This is my code. It's an eight digit hex code. And that is what you're going to need in order to do the next step. Okay, so uh, be sure to write this down. This will not change. So you don't have to do this for every book, just one single book to get your accounts activation code. And you get that and save it somewhere safe, like in your password manager file or something. Anyway, once you have that, um, you do the next step, which is FFmpeg on that AAX file that we have. Okay, so we have that AAX file. And uh, let's actually, we don't need this table stuff anymore at all. So I'm going to say CD dot dot. I'm going to move. So I'm going to clear the screen because I don't want to show anybody my activation code. Uh, and then I'm going to move that file into here and then I get rid of the tables folder. I don't need that anymore because I have that activation code and now I just have this file. So then what we need to do in order to remove the DRM from this is just use FFmpeg. So FFmpeg dash activation bytes and then your eight digit code that is going to be unique to you. And so I'm going to pretend it's like uh, F7 e455 five, five. let's say that's the activation bytes okay whatever yours are is what you're going to put there and then dash i the input file is going to be the file that i downloaded earlier dash c for copy meaning copy the codex and then the file that we want so output dot m4b now i press enter it's going to give me an error because that is not my proper code but if you do it correctly it will do this well i just went back and i i typed the correct one in. I didn't want to show it on the camera, but anyway, I did that. And now if we look in here, we have two files and they're just about the same size, but they're slightly different. The nice thing is you used to have to have a third party tool to do things like copy over the artwork and stuff, but FFmpeg does all of that now. And so all you need to do is have FFmpeg use that activation code. And again, you only need to do those other steps once. Then you just do the FFmpeg command and it will convert your AAX files from Audible into an M4B file, which is decrypted and ready to play on pretty much any audiobook player. So anyway, it's really easy to do that. I'll put the instructions in the description along with a link to the actual GitHub repository. But remember, don't pay for the stuff. And I want to reiterate, this is not a piracy thing, right? You have to buy the, the books from Audible and then they, the DRM is encoded with your own code. And so then you get your code and you decrypt it. So it's all you, you still buy them. Uh, all you're doing is making it so you can play it on some other uh, device. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. I hope it's uh, useful for you. It's useful for me. Again, I have all of my audiobooks in Plex now. And so regardless of where I buy them, I can listen to them on the same uh, interface and it's just incredible. So remember to learn everything. Do what you love. And most importantly, be kind. I'll see you in the next video.